What's going on guys, Wisdom to you, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Pyramid Head and why I think that if you stop playing him, you should give him a second chance, because I've been having a lot of fun with him right now, and I can really see his true strengths, but let's hop right into the video. To start off talking about Pyramid Head, let's talk about his uh, main power. If you hold whichever, depending on what you're on, L2, LT, M2, whatever you're on, it's called Rites of Judgment, you put the sword into the ground, and it leaves a little trail that if the survivors step in, they get tormented, and you, either, you can either cage them, or you can final judgment them after on death hook. This is where we'll be talking about his first strength. His cages. His cages completely, they do not act as a hook at all. So if somebody, you know somebody's running borrowed time, decisive strike, or some other hook perk, it won't work on the cages. That's his first major strength that you can, you don't have to worry about all these meta hook perks like borrowed time and decisive strike that I can think of off the top of my head. That is really huge in a meta where Decisive Strike has run nearly every game and Borrowed Time is also run nearly every game. A strategy that I like to do a lot with Pyramid Head is you try to get them tormented and then you, while you're chasing them, it, once you down them, you hook them and then whenever they get off the hook, their Decisive Strike will activate, but the next time you down them, you can um, cage them so that they'll be on their uh, struggle hook or their death hook. But you won't have to deal with Decisive Strike or anything. That's a really good strategy. I like to pull Pyramid Head a lot. Now we'll move on to his second strength. And these are not in order, by the way. This is just me compiling a bunch of strengths that he has. The second strength, I would say, is his mind games. He has a lot of mind game potential in the fact that when he puts a sword in the ground, people are so scared of his line attack, which we'll get onto later, that they'll just start going absolutely crazy. It's, it's good at baiting out dead hards. It's good at making them lose distance on you because then they'll try to juke the line attack. It's, it's just so versatile and so good. It's what I would say is a really big strength of him that doesn't seem as big. It can also be really good at dealing with loops because let's say that you're playing on this map, for instance, I'm just playing for, with the gameplay footage on McMillan Estate, and those little, I think people call them jungle gyms or whatever, you can, whenever they run around the wall, you can hit your, your sword in the ground and make, that might make them cut back and then you can rush around the corner and get a lot of distance on them and possibly get a hit. That is also a really good mind game that you can do with Pyramid Head. Moving on to his third strength is his line attack. Whenever you're doing rights of judgment and putting your tormented trills in the ground, he can do something called punishment of the damned when you hit your right attack while doing rights of judgment. And it releases a line attack that hits survivors with a very long distance. You can hit people through pallets, windows, and walls. This is good for dealing with loops and such, and it's probably his best strength. Now talking about his fourth strength, which is not always reliable, but it is a strength nonetheless. Whenever you put your tormented trail on the ground, Legion has the same effect, where I think it's called a killer instinct. Whenever you hit a survivor with Legion, any survivors nearby pop up like a red heartbeat that you can see them. The same thing happens with Pyramid Head. Whenever somebody steps in his uh, torment, they release the red heartbeat and he can see where you're at. This is not always reliable because it doesn't always happen, but this is a strength nonetheless. It can give you random information that could be crucial at times. This is what I would say is his fourth strength that I just thought of. Now there are many things with Pyramid Head. There's many reasons why people don't play him. I'm one of those people that I thought about stop playing him because I found his line attack to be well, it's kind of frustrating when you don't hit it because the higher tier survivors can juke it pretty easily. Not always because there's some circumstances where you can't do anything when you're locked in animation, uh, for example. But, I mean, he's still really strong. That's still, I would say, his biggest strength. But I just wanted to make this video, guys. I've had a lot of fun with him, and I think he's pretty strong. And I just thought maybe I'd give you guys some reasons on why you should try him. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, like, uh, comment, t t give me any video ideas that you might guys might want. If you enjoy my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.